Rally is being held by friends and family of 32-year-old Rafael Pito Rivera, along with concerned community members. This is a live look at that rally outside Buffalo Police District D District headquarters. Rivera was shot and killed by a Buffalo police officer yesterday after police say he refused to drop his weapon. But friends and family of Rivera say they don't believe the police department's story and they are calling for a thorough investigation. We just heard from Rivera's family in the past hour, and as you can imagine, people are very heated at tonight's rally. He ain't here no more because of the police that's supposed to protect us. But you got rookies out here with guns that don't even know how proper training, don't even know what to do, and you shot them seven times. It doesn't take you to shoot somebody seven times to let them get down. Give him a warning. He stopped and you still shot him. No justice. No peace. As the community calls for accountability from the police department, police say that they are now piecing together exactly what happened in the moments before Rivera was killed. And good evening once again. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Now, one thing that looks like it will play a big part in this investigation is video evidence. As our Steve Brown reports, while the investigation is just getting underway, many Westside residents are convinced Rivera did not have to die. It was a steady procession of mourners to the scene where 32 year old Pico Rivera was shot and killed. Many expressed to us anger over Rivera's death. Only this woman would say so on camera as long as we hid her identity. So it's a trust issue. You don't trust I don't the police. Trust them and I have two teenage kids. I really don't trust the police. And a lot of times I needed their help and they were never there for me. Police have insisted Rivera was armed. This is a situation where the uh, suspect had a deadly weapon, a loaded handgun. The weapon may have looked like this. Two on your side has learned the firearm recovered was a Smith & Wesson 9mm, described as fully loaded. Now, the officer who fired at Rivera is relatively new to the force. Elmer Karadzayev was sworn in as an officer in January of 2017. He's been removed from active duty while homicide and internal affairs bureaus both work this investigation. Officers are reviewing video and that will come out as part of the investigation. The video is surveillance video. There is video. Turns out it's videos plural. We have a police source that's telling two on your side that the police department is reviewing a number of videos it collected and here at the shooting scene we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight security cameras within close proximity to where it all played out. We can also report tonight the family has been denied a chance to see Rivera's body, according to newly hired Rivera family attorney Steve Cohen. Now, the body was sent for immediate autopsy, immediate autopsy. I, I, this was done within hours. Dr. Hart was told to do a full autopsy. And uh, uh, I tried to go in to the medical examiner's office today, and uh, they would not allow me to view the body. I want to I want to see if the entrance wounds were in the back or not. Cohen says in his experience, when shootings by police have no issues, they are quickly forthcoming with information, video, reports. He says he's not seen that yet. And to the impact Rivera's death has on at least some folks on the west side, it was impossible not to pick up on the anger over this shooting today and the elevated fear of the police department themselves. In the Information Center, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.